Jungle Beats motherfucking radio. What's up? What's up with you? What up, Jungle Beats radio? We on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's the place to be. It's where you post little snippets to these to these videos. Hit it up. All right, Lupe Fiasco, Drogos, Light. Nice. And now you know a lot about Lupe Fiasco. He's your dude. You know. Lupe, my man. I've been following him since Food and Liquor. <coughs> I fuck with Food and Liquor. I fuck with the cool. Both classic albums in my book. Mm-hmm. Lasers was uh. Food and Liquor Two was uh. Uh, Tetsu and Youth, back up there. God damn, Tetsu and Youth, something's good, something special. Tetsu and Youth still needs a bit more time to see about whether I want to put it in the classic category, but I keep going back to it. I listened to it a lot last year. Mm. It took me probably a good year to actually appreciate it for what it was, and um, I'm really excited to hear what he's got next because I know that a lot of his stuff has been delayed or cancelled, and Drogas is now Drogas Light for whatever reason, which I'm guessing we'll find out. It's finally out. It's finally out. Lupe Fiasco reviewed his own album. We're going to look at that at the end. To see what the, exactly what that means if you're a little confused. And I was like, what sort of, what sort of man reviews their own shit? <laughs> We're about to find out does. at the end of it. This is Drogos Light. And I, I really fuck with Lupe. Oh, from Testo and Youth explicitly. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed that album. And I, I don't know what to expect. It's a, the Light, is this because he has, to, he has to get this album out the way to get off his label, correct? I think so. And also, I don't know if this is... Cause he said he was going to release three albums. I don't know if this is his Trap Influence album or if it's not. So I don't know what I'm going to get. Because I know that one of the albums he was making was Trap Influence. Mm. So... I want some of that shit. All right. I don't. Track one. Dopamine Lit. Intro. Plays on my mind like stage. Stays for a while like Faze. Face to the back like Jays. Waiting from behind like K's. Faze shake it in my lap like Jack and Jonah. Cause I have a seat. Jesus. What's the number? Leave it to a preacher. This ain't the kind of rap the ops and the dots like Toe track, put the back back on the spotlight Try to hear the surf snacks and the cop Well, it's me new, I came in, you know the bombs that can't get us Who the ghost buses gon' call to come get us, eh? Hey, over D, off of this But baby, don't die to the double me hit, yo Hey, hey, this one ain't for bail power You can straight the album on Over D, off of this But don't fall asleep to the double me hit, hey Hanging on the half face, half naked hoes, they be dressing just like X-rays. Rated, all the way through, don't like nothing. Play. This, 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 that's dopamine lit. Holy shit. Lupe Fiasco, where the fuck you been, man? <laughs> that was fucking flames. The way that he pulled the beat, brought it back. Pulled the beat, brought it back. And his flow was fucking so respectful, man. It was fucking nasty, man. <laughs> Hit me in the fucking forehead. Fucking, oh. Pause. That was fucking dope. I agree, man. For me. Hit me with the bars, man. Shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. Who produced that? Someone dope. <laughs> All right. God damn. Track two. God damn. NGL featuring Ty Dolla Sign. Ah, uh, Ty Dolla. He worked on his last album with. His shots mean another nigga got his teardrops And you call his phone and ain't picking up And your stomach hurting that fear drops I hope a nigga ain't loose Oh god Holy damn Nice Two from a, At the start of the track I was like oh yeah It's sort yeah, of so yeah, so yeah. But it built And Ty Dollar in the background back and forth And Lupe sort of Oh bro The Ty Dollar sign feature Was it. just like Big Sean did with Jeremiah Yeah 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 The right amount not overdone Exactly Man. And just a little bit at the end there for exactly. Ty Dolla. It really just spices up the track. I think more artists need to be doing what these artists are doing with RBRs. The RBRs artist doesn't need that full verse or the yeah, full shine. Man, we like, don't need a verse. The same with RBRs artist can do for a rapper. The rapper can just be the background just doing like a, a lazy hook or a bit of a few ad libs. Like, I don't know, man. That just really worked. That was a really good track. Agreed. Especially after an intro that was just so heavily like fueled, man. Because I thought after the intro, I was like, oh, it's just losing that energy a bit, but it built it back up. I'm, I'm really impressed right now. Another quality like, track. It's only two tracks in, but I'm really impressed. Because I uh, to go from Tetsu and Youth to what we're hearing right now. Hmm. Fucking hell, man. Hmm. Fucking hell. All right. So far, so great. Whew. Track three, Promise. There's 
something there I promise, I promise, I promise Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it Yo, what makes you think For an artist as influential, crazy And artistic as Lufe What makes a man like Lufe want to make a trap album? What makes a man like Lufe want to make a trap album? And so far the lyrics have been a little diverse, but on that on that track, I was like, cool, what's he gonna take with it? The same shit the whole song. Send I got, it. I went from being hyped as fuck to bored as fuck. But then the lyrics make me think, is he doing this on purpose? Is he just mm-hmm. is he just saying this is what trap music is today? People are gonna love this track because I know they're gonna fucking like it. And look how easily it is for me to repeat it. It's like on his song Switch, I'll if you've heard Lupe Fiasco Switch, he mm. imitates about five famous rappers at the time on the track to show you, look. I can do these flows. It's easy. I can do anything. I'm the fucking rap god. Have you heard it? No, I haven't. We'll, we'll do it later, but like... All right. Um, But yeah, man, like, I think there's a bit there. I think he's definitely just saying this is how easy it is to make trap music. And I'm and I, maybe maybe after the track, it's going to show you, cool, this is what how easy it is to do, but I'm going to do it my way now because the first two tracks are fire. fire. And you know, it's kind of the he starts off with the with the with the chorus. I promise, I promise, I promise. Yeah. I keep it a hundred, I keep it a thousand, I keep it ten thousand. So it's like, okay, don't worry, guys, I got you. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real. Yeah. But the noticeably dumbed down lyrics are a mockery of the new style of bars, which are exemplified in the repeated, repeated, repeated lines yeah, in yeah. the hook. This song could be seen as a diss as Drake as they had a slight beef in 2016. Lupe utilizes Mox Drake's flow to show how the new age of artists are weak, how easy it is to produce their type of music. Which it is, because see me at the start of the track, I was getting into it, and then I was end up just opening my eyes up, opening my ears up, and just being like, "Hold up!" He's I just, fuck he, with. He's just playing the game. I fuck with Lupe. He's playing the game. Track four, made in the USA, featuring Bianca sings. I. I wonder, I wonder if... You said something about lasers, though, before the camera cut off. Oh, I said that, like, even lasers are better. Actually, I don't think lasers would have bad album, but it's lasers was his album that I didn't like the most of anything he's put out. And lasers, compared to what I just heard now, is better. Because actually, everything sort of works and fits together as much as some of the beats do. The pop appeal is what drew me away from the project, but this one's all over the place. And I feel like that when he, when he reviews this album, is he going to review it in a way which he, he explains everything so that it makes sense? Or is he going to review it in a way of being like, this album I made is sort of a, a joke in a way. Cause you know what I mentioned before about the whole message and about how each track is like him saying he can do it better? Mm. Maybe he's going to review it in that light and give it like a 5 out of 10 and be like, I see what you're trying to do here. Like maybe that's the point of him doing this album. Maybe he's going to give it an average review because he feels that's what it is, but that's what he can do. I don't fucking know. All I know is that I didn't enjoy this album and I hope I know what he was doing with it. And some of the tracks in here are flames and really catchy like the track of Big Crit Rick Ross was definitely a highlight the yep. first track was a massive dopamine highlight. and second track was great with Ty Doll uh, and GL Tranquilla with Ross yeah there was probably there's probably five tracks in this album Jump really featuring liked. Jizzle wasn't Jump bad was, Jump was a good track uh, but overall I really don't like this this album I'm gonna go back to the tracks because some of the tracks bang like really bang I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really disappointed right now and I need an explanation from Lupe as to what the fuck's going on. Because if this album is a joke, then why the fuck do you do it as a... I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't, I don't fuck well, it might be to get off the label like like I've heard to push one more out so we can get the f- official Drogos out. Yeah, man, but this still would have taken time to do. Yeah, it would have. And which... you want to get the label, get off in style. If, even if you even if you're like, fuck that label, just, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just... I'm lost. I'm at a loss for words after all. You, you got a little salt, but as you, as oh. as expected, I'm sure many other fans feel maybe similar. Similar. Dude, I'll um, test on youth. Yeah, I'll, man, tell me about it. That's a great. Comp- uh, yeah, I'll test on youth. Yeah, because that was very cohesive, very directional, very beautiful. focused piece. Lyr- lyrically beautiful, man. Art piece. Yeah. This all over the place, not cohesive. The last half was um more lackluster to the first half. Mm. Uh. A bit of everything. Now, I'll go back for tracks, not the album. Now, Lupe Fiasco reviewed his album, and in his tweet, he said, a review of his new album, the only review of Drogo's Light, that matters. So, just... Of course, his own. Just discrediting everybody else who takes the time. (coughs) Jungle Beats Radio. Yes, or do you want me to read it out loud? Do you want to read... Oh, no, read it out loud. Read it out loud. All right. A review of Drogo's Light by Lupe Fiasco. Where do we go from here? 
This is the question that takes center stage in the mind of controversially brilliant rapper Lufe Fiasco on the heels of his masterpiece, fifth album, Testo and Youth, which has also signaled the end of his industrial recording career. Looking over a career which has spanned more than a decade, the Chicago... He's from Chicago? Yeah. And it's, oh, man, Chicago fucking talent. Yeah, man. Reflects on his highs and lows. I mean, what is there more to prove, he says rather ambivalently, and more importantly, to whom? When I was young, I had one goal in mind, to be one of the best MCs in the world, and I crossed that threshold almost 15 years ago when Jay-Z, one of my lyrical heroes, gave me his seal of approval. 15 years ago? Do you remember when, yeah, do you remember when Kanye West got him on Touch the Sky? Yeah. You know, you know who hooked him up with Kanye West? Jay-Z. Oh, it was it Jay? Jay-Z. My initial mission was to complete, my initial mission was complete, so to speak. The fastidious MC does make, does make a pretty good case for himself. Lupe has been able to navigate a very rapidly changing landscape of cultural trends and technologies in the commercial music space while still holding down a solid reputation of being one of the premier rappers rappers his latest effort Strogo's light is somewhat of a mixed bag it hosts a wide range of musical themes from trap to disco to do- gospel to light touches of lyrical and technical skill from the mc but while some may think the album is supposed to express his value as a rapper lupe has something more live in brackets or oh, in qu- quotation in mind okay Strogo's light is a refinement of lasers period I think it's pretty clear. Over my commercial career, there naturally started to develop two Lupes, a very conceptually and lyrical dense Lupe, which is what we get from Testo and Youth, Mm -hmm. and a light Lupe. Huh. Champagne versus and Moonshine is probably the best analogy. And they each had a rather good output of material, albeit for two very different audiences. And when I say audience, I literally mean the audiences at live concerts, which always has been the main focus. Straight at Moonshine, Lupe live performances are decent at best. At worst, they become too heady and unentertaining. However, Champagne Lupe performances are super lit. So it's finding a balance between the two, but sometimes it's not about trying to balance it all but letting one just take over completely. And since I don't have a label or personal pressures to please everybody repeatedly on my back, I felt it's best to distill the best works from each side separately as opposed to clumsily trying to blend them. It didn't work. So essentially he's saying he felt it was best to distill each of his best works into one. Essentially what Life of Pablo did for Kanye, or what people call calling Life of Pablo for Kanye. But Life of Pablo was a good album. Yes, it was. This was a shit album. Th- did that make sense to you? It did in a way. It's like he said, it's like he said he's drawn, he says it like champagne, music, there's different type of Lupe. Yeah. Lupe. It's just like some of it doesn't trans well live, and some of it doesn't. But I've seen Lupe live, and he's probably one of the best rappers I've ever seen live. Because I saw him on his, um, on his, uh, was on his the cool tour, and it was amazing. Okay. But over but after that he has done more. He's done Lays, he's done Tetsu, he's done like everything he's done after that has been he's, he's broadened his horizon in terms of his musical talents and genres. So he has like in terms of this album he has like gotten each parts of him as a rapper and put on this album. Like the trap influences and the electro influences come from a lot of his mixtapes. Um, a lot of the there are a few tracks that do give you a sort of um, slight the cool feels, uh, the lasers. Like I do get what he's saying, but. Some of the pop stuff, lasers. Like I don't, I don't feel like saying it's a refinement of lasers is utter bullshit. Lasers doesn't sound anything like this album. I'm sorry, Lupe, but you're fucking nuts if you think this is a refinement of lasers. <laughs> it's fucking not. Uh, I get what he's saying, but in, but if he's saying that he's grabbed a whole bunch of stuff to make it like parts of him and all for like to sound better live, I I still don't get what he's doing. I feel like that explanation doesn't really do much for me. I feel like it's him trying to explain why he put out a shit album. Mm. And yeah, I I I think that that review. Is trash. <laughs> you even say his album's trash. His review's trash. trash. But at least we understand, like yeah. conceptually, what he was trying to go for. He was trying he was to trying co- to go for. Yeah, he was trying to go for. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's up to the person's subjective opinion and personal view whether they think he achieved that. Um, but like I said, I like I I still admire him for what he's trying to do, but I don't have to like. Right, a hundred percent. And there's another thing he 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 wrote in regards to constructing the album, the Loquacious Luddite. Uh, what is that? Do you ever heard of that? No. Loquacious Luddite. Okay. Loquacious means tending to talk a great deal, and Luddite means a member of any band of English workers who destroyed machinery. 
<laughs> Especially in cotton and you know woolen what? There's mills. There's a reason I don't have a large vocabulary. <laughs> uh, Lupe does. Uh, in regards to constructing the album, the Loquacious Luddite took a very hands off approach. I don't know what that sentence means. I kind of just let the pieces fall where they may. Light is more of a curation of pre existing material which shared similar properties. The majority of the album is from the vaults, and only a few new pieces were actually put down to fill out the vision. Wow. So a lot of the tracks from this album are actually old pieces that he's brought back to life. Huh. So maybe a lot of these tracks are leftovers from albums that he's like every album that he's done. Like he said, it's pieces of that, which is why this album isn't cohesive at all. Anything that challenged the light feel of the album overall was rejected immediately. Anything that felt too jazzy or too lyrical or conceptually dense was not used so as to preserve the quality and tone of the next album, Jogos, which is coming in a few months after Jogos Light. Thank fuck. So it's a method to the madness as we wind down to the next phase of my career, which is no albums at all. Which I'm very excited about because I feel there is really nothing more of value or interest I can do under the album format without repeating myself or setting unrealistic expectations. And that's a great point. I think, like, why force, why force lyrics? Why force a story when you don't have one and you've told it? Right. Only make one if you feel that you have another one. So I reckon that's why Eminem hasn't put out much music lately. Because he's told his story. He's told it time again. I don't feel like I feel like when Jay Z makes music now, he like sure he can still spit bars, he can still make good like double entendres, but he's not really saying too much, is he? Compared right. to what he was saying in his other album. Right, great point. Um, that's great. This, it's a challenge of an artist, right, to reach that pinnacle, to reach that stage. All these albums, all these great, uh, all these things that you've created mm -hmm. starts to get monotonous. I feel like that what he said at the end here, that's a bit of respect for me, and that gives me a lot more understanding as to this album too. And the last thing, last little paragraph, with knocking beats and playful brush strokes from a master taking it easy, Jogos Light still possesses the classic Lupe direct social commentary and imaginative storytelling, which solidified his place in the game so many years ago and looking forward potentially for so many years to come. Mm -hmm. Seven out of ten. I was right on that regard. I thought he'd give it a fucking low score. Well, it's not really low, though. Seven out of ten. That's just all right. It's not low. I thought he'd give himself a 10 because it's Lupe. <laughs> I'd give this album a 3 out of 10. And that's been generous. I don't give ratings. Yeah, we don't... We don't that's the good thing about the channel. We don't give ratings. I don't care for ratings. It's... it's yeah, ask me tomorrow, it'll it's change. Ask me next week, it'll change. Exactly. It's based on the current moment, and the current moment is chaotically changing. Yeah. Anyway... That's Drogo Slides, Jungle Beats Radio. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I, I like that. That was a little punchy. That was good. Um, <sighs> yep, so if you're a fan of Lupe, don't check this out. Now, check it. You'll fucking hate it, like I did. If you like Taylor Swift, check this album out. You'll love it. I mean, I'm looking forward to Drogo's. Yeah, so am I. From if he says that what he's saved, like all because a lot of this album he said was from the vault, so he probably didn't even work hard for this album. He's probably just trying to give his label. But if he said that Drogo says all the stuff that he wants to be saying, what he feels like, because yeah, he felt like everything that lyrically and was whatever he wanted to do, his label didn't want to put on there. They didn't want it, but like I don't know. I'm excited. All right, we're fucking done. Fuck this album. Fuck this whole review. Fuck Lupe. Let's fucking. Hit. Can you hit it? Wait, I got one. Yeah, go hit it.